Good day, dear friends. May God bless you all abundantly in the name of Jesus, making of each of us, of each of us, a fountain to overflow to people who are thirsty, afflicted, wanting to take away their lives. May you be useful for the glory of God in this world. The scripture which I have pleasure in speaking to you about is in Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 8, when it says, The people, the people heard, heard the word from the book, the law, the words of the commandments. And Nehemiah, the governor, the governor, Nehemiah, the priests, and all the Levites taught the people to understand the word of God. And in that day where there was despair, there were tears, they were weeping, they were lamenting. They dedicated to consecrate to God, to God. They managed to separate a day to consecrate to the Lord God. And so they said, they taught the people. This day is holy to the Lord your God. Do not mourn nor weep, for all the people wept when they heard the words of the Lord. Look, he says to the people, Do not mourn nor weep. Do not mourn nor weep. This day is holy to the Lord your God, consecrated to the Lord. Interesting, isn't it? You know, I don't know if you know or if you should know, but you're going to know anyway. When we lament about our lives, when you mourn about your luck, I shouldn't have been born, why did I come to this world? Because I only have known suffering and pain. I don't have this desire to live. If I could, I would take away my life. If I could, I wouldn't have been born. Cursed is the day in which my mother said, a boy is born, a girl is born. Because since my birth, my life has been a sea of tears. So you mourn the day you were born. You mourn your problems. You mourn. You murmur. You complain about your life. Just that you forget that in the same instance that you are lamenting, mourning, crying, weeping, seeking compassion from other people through your tears. Other people are fighting to survive, to live a bit more. How many people are in hospital in this moment, crying with pain because they have an infirmity, a sickness, etc. And others are in prison and others are in the streets as beggars. Look, my dear friend, if you don't know, now you'll know. Each time you mourn, you lament about your luck, your life, and you stay mourning, crying, weeping. You keep confessing your, your pain, your problems. The devil says, Amen. Meaning, you glorify the devil 
when you curse your life, you curse your life, your birth. But in the other hand, when you glorify God, you recognize God as the Lord of your life. You say, oh my God, thank you for my life. I have fights, yes, I have problems. I have challenges, yes, I do. But you have given me strength to fight. I have strength, I still have strength to fight. And I recognize that you gave me the strength. And you allowed these challenges to come for my growth, for my maturity, my spiritual maturity. My dear friend, when you do this, then you are, you are obviously pleasing God because God says, Amen. So, when we mourn, the devil says, Amen. He is glorified. When we praise God, even in our difficult moments, in our problems, you might be going through, you might be going through difficult problems, difficult problems, but if you start to think like God as He thinks, if you think according to the Word of God, then you will say, praise be to God. I thank you, God, because you, you allow me to fight so that I, I may exercise my strength. I can learn to face my challenges. I start to, to live in the desert, in this desert, which I'm living in, for my own well-being because great things are coming ahead. It's like this. Before you take possession of a great blessing, you have to face a desert, a tribulation. Nothing in this world is easy for no one. But God allows that our deserts, our difficulties come to make us mature to strengthen us because it says the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is the strength in whom believes in Him. When someone believes in God, he recognizes that those problems that he's going through are for his own benefits, for his own good. Paul says this in Romans, Romans chapter 5. He says we should, should glorify as well in tribulations because tribulations produce perseverance, patience, and etc. My dear friend, I know it's not easy. I know it's difficult, but God does not allow that you or you are tested above your strengths, isn't it? Is it not what is written? It is not what we believe. Do we not believe in the word of God? God does not allow that we go through challenges above what we can handle and overcome. Praise be to God. So please, if you take this day, to consecrate, consecrate yourself to God, your Lord God, then don't cry, don't mourn, don't be weeping, don't be complaining and complaining and complaining, because each time you complain, you are honoring, you are saying, yes, Satan, you are responsible for this, and you are winning. And the devil says, Amen. That's it. But if you, instead of complaining, lamenting, mourning, weeping, you start saying, Praise be to God. The Bible says, In all we should praise God. Then you praise God. You start to overcome these problems which you are facing. This, my dear friend, will give you support so that tomorrow 
you may face bigger challenges to have greater blessings. The secret. Never mourn. Never complain. Never stay weeping. If you have to lament, if you have to complain, if you have to talk about something respecting your life, your family, your problems, speak to God. Oh my God, I'm going through this problem. David did this. In Psalms, you see this. His mourns, the, the lamentations of Jeremiah. He spoke to God. They spoke to God, not to anyone else. They were not sharing, sharing, planting misery, disgrace, which they were going through. They faced them with faith, living faith in the promises of the word of God. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. Amen.